Yeah, where we're going as smoothly as possible, and soon the commute between Brooklyn and Queens is going to look and sound quite different. The MTA is showcasing its Inner Borough Express project, and Elijah Westbrook is here with a look. Elijah. That's right. Good morning, Natalie and Cindy. Well, I've been looking into how this project is shaping up, as you mentioned. MTA officials recently announcing the proposed route will shorten travel time between Bay Ridge, Brooklyn, and Jackson Heights, Queens. The Transit Authority has decided on using what's called light rail. Well, I spoke with a train expert to understand how this will look during your next commute. Trolley cars are making a comeback in NYC, but not in this form you're likely thinking. MTA officials in a recent town hall said it's moving forward with fleet called light rail for Interborough Express. They can operate in mixed traffic uh, on streets. They can operate on a railroad. They can operate through tunnels. The light rail is a successor of the trolley. <laughs> similar to these here in Los Angeles. It was once a mode of transit the city used until the 1950s, according to historians. Hey, Ken, good morning. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Hi, Elijah. Pleasure. I spoke with railroad expert and one of Trainland's owners, Ken Bianco. He and his family have been running this train collection store since the 60s. Ken, you and I both love mm -hmm. trains. I had to ask you, what do you think about the MTA utilizing light rail as the mode of transit for Interborough Express? I think it's a great idea, and I think it's uh, probably much needed, something different. From end to end, the MTA is projecting that it could take up to 40 minutes. It's, it's definitely effective, um, and for certain people, it's perfect. It's definitely something that's going to work for a majority of the people. Because most people, if they're traveling to work, they only travel a certain distance. As it stands, the project is expected to shorten travel time between Bay Ridge and Jackson Heights. The MTA says the quieter trains will be the most cost effective. Officials say it will use a freight rail line that's currently underused. It would pass through 20 neighborhoods and connect to 17 subway lines plus the LIRR. Very few people would ride all the way. And, and you're not necessarily riding from Jackson Heights to Bay Ridge. You're riding intermediately through various parts of the line. The MTA says the project will require a budget of $5.5 billion. It's still very early in the process. However, the expected completion date is in the year 2027. Smaller than subway. And once in service, officials say more than 115,000 daily riders will use Interborough Express. The formal environmental review process will continue the rest of this year. And as a train lover, Cindy and Natalie, I really enjoyed uh, doing this story. <laughs> Let's head it back to you. Yeah, those new cars look cool. <laughs> they do, right? Something we haven't seen here in New York City. Yeah. The Red Elijah, thank you so much.